Yo, what's happening, y'all? It's your man, Valentine, baby. Come to come on the grind. Home edition, y'all. Um, yeah, you know, the last week, it's now been a week and two days now that um, George Floyd has been, uh, been killed. And we are still in the midst of something big you know what I mean and each day I come on and I can give you a little bit of something about what I what's what I've encounter, encountered and I mean there's many you know what I mean and for me you know just just having the police not um wow I don't even know I don't even know what to say about that because it's just it's just some craziness, man. Because when I'm rolling around and I get pulled out of a car for no reason and put in handcuffs, that's craziness. And I know today, everyone, I know there's people on social media that's going dark. I couldn't do it. I saw George Floyd's family on TV today. And I saw the little girl and... The family talking about how they gonna miss him and how this little girl is not gonna have no daddy to, uh, you know, to come to when she needs some help, to walk her down the aisle, to see her graduating. It made me emotional. You know what I mean? And I had to come on and say, look, we need to talk. That's the key. We need to talk. And... I know um, Minister Ford, Premier Ford in Toronto, came out and said that Canada doesn't have the systemic, the deep systemic roots of racism like America does. And yet, I don't know if he's contradicting what Trudeau said, because Trudeau said, yes, there's a systemic racism in Canada. So, I don't know what Ford is talking about. And... I'm wondering if um, Premier Horgan is is uh, is is on the same lines as Mr. Ford, or is the mayor of Vancouver on the same lines, or even the city councilman, Sadu Johnson or whatever his name is, on the same lines. You know what I mean? Or even Malcolm Bromley of the city is on the same lines as being, if we don't have that deep systemic roots of racism. Because I'm thinking they need to sit there and get some education. You know what I mean? Because this goes back for three, four hundred years that we've had this type of racism happening to black people. And how are you going to come out and say that we don't have them type of roots? Well, we do. You need to make sure you get educated. And, and I'm thinking that somehow... He needs everyone and every one of you white folks who are in the government need to sit there and go read Jane Elliott's book, Brown Eye, Blue Eye. You know what I mean? Because you need to get some, you need to get some education on racism and, and what black people feel. Because I know for a fact, if I ask the question of does anyone want to be treated like black people get treated? I mean, can you answer that question? You know? You need to answer that question. Do you want to be treated like black people get treated? Because if you do, I know there's something wrong with you because I don't want to be treated that way. We want to be treated with, with respect. So for him to come out and say that we don't have deep roots of racism in Canada is a joke. So for all the ministers and all the councilmen in, in Van City, you guys need to ask yourself that question. And that's my letter to you guys. Ask yourself that question. You know what I mean? And then make sure you go read and do some research on, on Jane Elliott and listen to what she has to say. 
Because I think you guys need to understand what racism is all about. You feel me? I couldn't go dark today. That's what I'm saying. So I had to come out and say that. So I hope y'all listening. And maybe we can we can all sit down and and talk about what we need to do next. Because you know what? Pretty words are not going to work. Because it's too long that everyone has been sitting down. Every single time this happens, we're going to rah, rah, rah. And then you sit there and then you go about your business and don't do nothing about it. This time you cannot. You know what I mean? And then, the, then you know, I mean, even people, teachers in high school, what's up with that? Teachers in high school need to understand that racism is in your classroom. If you don't understand black people, you, can you feel me? You need to figure it out. So all the people or all the teachers who are trying to teach and trying to understand what black people go through every day, they need to go see, they need to go read that book too. They need to do research on, on Jane Elliott's book, The Brown Eye, Blue Eye, to understand what the kids are going through. I don't know, man. Everybody's hurting. You know what I mean? We're all hurting. And and it's um it's high time that we um we all get to the table and and talk about what we're feeling and what we're going through. And maybe the, the, the police commissioner in Van City, you know what I mean, to to really get down and dig deep into what we really need to do. Every one of these folks need to be at the table to sit down and figure out what they can do to curb this type of discriminatory racism, racist acts that's going on. You know what I mean? And then this way we can take the bullseye off the black people's back. You feel what I'm saying, y'all? Hey, it's your man Valentine, Daddy. It's the home edition. If you think it's your time to shine, you need to get on the ground with your man Valentine. You feel me?